Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker. It is Thursday, August the 9th, 2018, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a ground turkey meatloaf. It's a family recipe I've had for probably 25 years, and it's low fat. It's absolutely delicious, and these are all the ingredients in it. So I'll go over the ingredients, and I'll show you how I make it. And you're probably going to be watching this on Friday, August the 10th, because there will be some editing involved. But anyway, uh, we're going to start out with this. It's 97% lean, 7% fat. It's all natural ground turkey, no antibiotics, no hormones or steroids, vegetarian fat. So my local supermarket now has this. So we're going to put two pounds of this, uh, one pound per package, um, in the loaf. We have about one and a half cups of chopped um, onion and chopped green pepper in that bowl. We have one cup of sodium-free chicken broth. We're going to put in uh, one organic egg white and one whole organic egg to the loaf. You can, the recipe originally calls for two egg whites, but I'll just uh, put one egg white and one egg yolk in. And then here we have one cup of, vet, of um, Italian breadcrumbs and then here we have a quarter cup of parsley two teaspoons of basil one teaspoon of cumin uh, just throwing that in for a kick and then we're going to flavor with garlic powder and black pepper and then on the top we're going to have barbecue sauce and a little bit of honey so without further ado I'm letting this pan heat up because we have to uh, saute the chopped onions and green peppers and you do it for a few minutes until they become translucent and uh, easily mixed in with the rest of your loaf and we're gonna make the loaf in this pan here it is a number eight 10 inch lodge and you can see that it's still kind of brown I haven't used it that much so we need to start using it and this is going to go in the oven, but we're going to put it, we're going to do our vegetables in here first. We're going to mix them over here in this bowl. And then we're going to put it back in here and we're going to put it in the oven for about 350 to 375. Uh, probably put it in for 375 and we'll check it after 45 minutes. The traditional recipe used a loaf pan for an hour and 45 minutes at 375 degrees. But because you're spreading the loaf out over a uh, wider area, allowing for more even cooking it's not going to take quite as long so cast iron can be very efficient there so I'm going to pause the video I will be back when we're ready to saute the vegetable now while our pan is still heating up that's a very thick pan so you have to let it heat up for a little while longer we're going to mix our ingredients we're going to put them in here that's our all our dry ingredients and then we have a cup of the Italian flavored breadcrumbs. You could probably use panko crumbs, but I I prefer the Italian. It just it just makes it so good. And then I'm going to put the camera down here. Um, I really need a GoPro for the the especially when it's a multi um, there we go. We'll do it like that. Okay and the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna put a couple of eggs in here. I'm gonna crack them on the side. Okay, we're going to do the egg white. Actually, I'll do this one, the whole egg. Okay. There we go. We got that out. And we're, then we're going to do an egg white. And this is how you do it. Just like that. Let all the yolk fall out. Very simple. You don't need those devices to do it. And we got it all out just in the nick of time. I'm going to rinse off my hands. Now, anytime you handle egg, you really need to wash your hands quite a bit. Uh, you just don't know. But it helps in the baking of the meatloaf. Okay, so we have all of our ingredients in here. And this seems to be warming up okay. So we're going to go ahead and spray the pan, and I'm going to go ahead and just take a spatula here, and just so you can see what I'm doing, 
you can see the pan there. I'm just going to cook these till they're clear and they're soft, about five minutes or so. And I've got oil in here and what we're going to do is to give them a little boost. We are going to add the lid and just use an old Revereware lid that works just great. Because lids on, on cast iron are very hard to come by. So we're going to go ahead and put our bowl back here. And uh, we have some chicken broth as well. But we're going to go ahead and just mix this. If you can see me, mix it up. Just kind of fold everything in together. The uh, egg white and the egg. And this makes for a very moist meatloaf, that's for sure. And we're going to go ahead and add in the broth. And that is all sodium free. You can use a little light sodium if you want. The whole idea behind this recipe originally was to keep everything low fat and to have a delicious meatloaf. And I tried it. It was back in the 90s, early 90s, so I figure 24, 25 years ago. And um, since I've been using this recipe, um, my family doesn't like anything else. They like this one. And if I do something a little bit different, they say, eh, this doesn't taste the same. What did you do? So anyway, stick with this one. And if you like to use ground beef, you can. I like ground turkey. It's a little healthier. And I like to use a little bit of fat in it. This is 93% fat free, 7% uh, fat. So it gives a little enough fat to keep it flavorful. You don't want, you can get 99% fat free ground turkey. And uh, anyway, so I'm going to mix that up a little bit with my hands. And we're going to check our, I'm going to move that so you can see this. And we're going to check our, and I put the lid on here because the lid really helps keep it moist, makes it easier to cook the vegetables. We're going to mix the vegetables in with our ground turkey and then we're just going to make the loaf. So I'm going to start preheating the oven and just give that another minute or so and we should be done with that. Okay, there we go. And we're going to go ahead and add some uh, garlic powder. Just give it a little flavor. I like to add garlic to stuff. It just tastes good. It's your personal preference. Recipe doesn't actually call for that. It does call salt and pepper to taste. Um, I think it was a teaspoon and a half of salt technically in the recipe and a teaspoon or half teaspoon of pepper. Again, it's your preference. It's not a big deal. So we got the black pepper in there. And uh, gonna mix it up. And I'm not gonna over mix because then it'll it'll um, dry out too much. You wanna keep it nice and moist. So that's right now what it looks like. And the peppers are gonna give it a little bit of um, added flavor and so forth. That, and uh, anything, this is very heavy, very heavy. Okay, I'm going to put it down, and I'll try it with the other, other side. I'm going to mix that all up. I'm going to pause this, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spray my pan again with um, olive oil cooking spray around the sides as well. And you don't want it to stick. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in. I'm going to go ahead and spread it. I didn't over mix it, but that's what it looks like, nice and moist. And this is a lot, so... I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. Oops. And I've never done it this way before. So this is 
The meatloaf itself is fabulous. Like I said, 25 years. And it was in a traditional loaf pan. And we're going to do it this way. Won't require as much time to cook. It'll have more even heating. And it'll just be a, a nice way to utilize the cast iron. So I'll go ahead and put that down. And we're going to go ahead. It calls to have it in. It's very moist. And we don't want to quite have it on the edge. Just going to try to mound it real nice. It's almost like a meatloaf pie. You know, I mean, this is the thing with cooking. You can be really creative and you can do different things. And you know what? In the end, if you cook it thoroughly, put in good seasonings and flavors together, you can come up with all different kinds of good stuff. Now, you know when this is done, when the internal temperature is 160 degrees, and the sides will start to pull away uh, from the meatloaf, or the meatloaf will pull away from the side, I should say. So just making sure it's nice and kind of evenly distributed around. And what we're going to do is we're going to put on a top of barbecue sauce. That's what I always done on my meatloaves. There we go. So there we have it. And you can see it there. Gorgeous. Okay, let me move the... Uh, well, you can't see if I do that. Okay, here we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put on the uh, barbecue sauce. I like sticky fingers the best, but I had some of this. Oven's ready, so we should be... Uh, there it is. This is Stubbs. Original barbecue sauce. I like to buy my barbecue sauce without a bunch of yucky ingredients in it like uh, high fructose corn syrup and things like this. This just has water, tomato, paste, sugar, distilled vinegar, molasses, tapioca, uh, dextrin, brown sugar, cornstarch, spices, and that kind of thing. So it is very healthy, no high fructose corn syrup. And you put the uh, barbecue sauce on and it'll caramelize in the oven. Just want to, you want to make sure it's covered real nice and it'll have a nice surface. And then what I'm going to do is, this is something new. Um, I want to make sure I don't waste any barbecue sauce. Love it. Okay, now, what I want to do is put some honey. Had to open a new... Uh, jar. So what we're just going to do is weave it over the top. Honey and barbecue sauce. Mmm. And this is an organic honey also. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it in the oven. And this is pretty heavy. Going to open it up. That's what it looks like on the top with our honey. And I'm actually going to put this down because I cannot lift it with one hand, so I will be back. Okay, guys, I got it in the oven. It's it, It'll take probably about an hour, maybe a little bit longer, give or take. And then we're going to have some green beans and some red skin mashed potatoes to go with it. So a nice comfort meal, and I will show you when I return what it okay, all Okay, guys, like. I am back. The meatloaf is out of the oven, and it is done. This is the uh, what, what the barbecue sauce looks like with the honey, and it should be fine. Mmm. It caramelizes on there, and the honey gives it a nice sweet kick to it. And mashed potatoes and green beans. So I'll show you... Uh, Take a picture of the plate, and that will be the last thing that you're going to see on the video. So, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be back later.